So we're in Tallahassee, Florida, in honor of Halloween. The Grim Reaper himself has decided to pay a visit to the Republican Party of Florida to thank them for their uh, generous support of his work. 128 people dying every day while our Republican leaders are holding up health care reform. Here is a part of a large coalition of organizations and groups in Florida and all over the country, actually, that have been fighting and struggling and working uh, for months and months and years for meaningful health care reform in this country. I'm joined here today on the eve of Halloween uh, by Mr. Graham Reaper. We're here at the Little House of Horrors, the Republican headquarters, uh, to talk about health care reform and to say trick or treatment to the Republican Party. The Republicans have been obstacles in this whole campaign for health care reform. And of course, Mr. Graham Reaper loves that. He's here to say thanks to the Republican Party for giving him more bodies because the recent Harvard study says that 45,000 people die every year in this country for lack of health care coverage and health care insurance. Before this day ends, 123 people will die because they didn't have health care coverage. Now, Mr. Reaper likes that. So we're here to ask the Republican Party, why are you being an obstacle? Why are you playing politics with people's lives that is not helpful to Florida's families? Now, Mr. Reaper loves it, but it's not good for the health of our families here in Florida. So we're going to go in and say trick or treatment to the Republicans who are standing in the way of meaningful health care reform in this country and in this state. So if you would like to come with us to the Little House of Horrors. Florida desperately needs meaningful health care reform. 
Barbara, what would you like to accomplish? I mean, what would you like to see happen to make things better? Well, um, I represent the Florida Alliance for Retired Americans, and we are for extending what we have under Medicare, because I'm over 65, I love my Medicare, it's provided by the government at a lot less uh, cost than private insurance, because they take the money for profits, they put profit above people's health. So what we'd, we'd like ultimately in this country to see that there is Medicare for all, no matter what your age, from the womb to the tomb, I call it. Now, at the very least, we are fighting like mad for a strong, meaningful public option in the health care bill. Lower costs and a choice for people at lower costs. But I would like to see everyone in this country covered, just like in every other country, democratic industrialized country in the world. We're the only one in this rich country that doesn't provide quality health care for all of our citizens. And that's what I want. But Mr. Reaper, of course, wants a weak bill so that he'll get 123 bodies every day that we don't have health care coverage for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good, how are you?